All right, let's take a live look again over DKR Texas Memorial Stadium tonight. Brian, it's a little dark, but tomorrow mm. Longhorn fans, they will return for the orange white scrimmage. It's going to be a great day tomorrow. It's going to be a good bet that UT's beloved mascot, Bevo, will be there. A game tradition that goes back over a hundred years. KVU's Bob Buckaloo has more on the best mascot in the land in tonight's backstory. <laughs> He wasn't much to look at, but he was all they had. A scrawny Longhorn introduced at halftime at the UT Texas A&M football game. He was hard to handle and not well liked by the students. After all, they already had a football mascot, a tan and white dog named Peg Belmont, adored by students and faculty. When the dog died in 1923, students led a solemn funeral procession down the drag. But back at Clark Field for the 1916 game, a victory for UT. They beat A&M 21-7. And when a UT editor wrote a story about the game, he mentioned the steer and proclaimed in print, His name is Bevo. Long may he reign. Where do you get the name Bevo? Well, there was a popular non-alcohol drink at the time, a near beer called Bevo. Or did the name originate from the actions taken by these young hooligans from A&M? who branded Bevo 1 with the score of a 1915 football game that the Aggies had won against Texas. The legend goes that when UT students saw this, they converted the score into the name Bevo. Not true, say UT historians. The most likely origin of the Bevo name has to do with beef. The usage of the word beeves or beef to describe cattle in times past. Add the letter O and you've got Bevo. And speaking of beef, we're sad to report that Bevo One met an unfortunate demise. He was retired and served up as a barbecue dinner for the annual UT football banquet in 1919. A most unfortunate end to the beginning of a Longhorn legend. Bob Buckaloo, KVU News.